the other things are coming internally from you. Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. How are you this beautiful sunny day? Or at least I hope that it's sunny for you as well. If you're new here, again, nice to meet you. My name is Elutheria and I'm a front end developer. In this episode, we will talk about challenges and again if you're new here um, I like to take your questions and giving you my answers so for this video I've decided something a little bit different I gathered your questions through Twitter and some days ago I had popped up an image and I will show you that image right now. It was like this one. I don't know if you can see it very clear. It is like all the challenges that I've ever done. I think that maybe one or two are missing, but yeah, these are the most important ones. So when I posted this uh, picture, I got, I think like 1.2K likes, which is, a very big amount of likes for me and also um, 170 people retweeted my image again this is incredible for me um, I will leave my Twitter and that image also if you want to check this to check it out so uh, below that image I got a lot of questions a lot of questions and of course thank you very much both for the questions and for all the congratulations on the beautiful wishes that you guys gave me uh, but now in this video I would like to take the opportunity to answer to your questions and in some of you I told you that I was going to answer your questions in my YouTube and I told you to stay tuned so if you did that shout out to you and thank you very much uh, now before we begin with this video I would like to remind you one thing please like share and subscribe it would be really important for me and it would give me the courage to continue doing what i am doing thank you very much and if you have any question just leave a comment below and yeah that's it i'm going to answer your question in the next video all right so um a little background and then we will start with the questions so as you can see i've done quite a few of them the first challenge that i ever did was 100 days of code and i did that one day before we start 2017 so it was 31 of december in 2016 and the last challenge that i did was daily ui that i finished it like a couple of weeks ago um but yeah now let's start with your questions i've written down everything so i'm not going to forget anything and the first question says like a uh, terrific job there but how do i start with the challenges and this is something that was asked by jojo but i think that other people have like the same question so how do you start first thing first you have to mentally be prepared for this you have to know that you will devote your time and your energy in a challenge now this challenge can be whatever it can be like 100 days of code 301 days of code javascript 30 it can be anything if you like to code just take the time to code if you want to progress if you want to see good results if you want to do something professionally uh you know, just do it. I'm not implying that the only way to be good at something is by doing challenges, but I think that challenges is a fun way to learn, but also connect with other developers. So when I started doing the 100 days of code, except of the experience that I got through projects, I also met so many amazing people. And some of those people I'm really close until now, that is like two or three years ago, um, especially 
actually when I was doing the 301 days of gold, um, I started talking with the Benjamin Spock, which I will also leave uh, his Twitter down in the description and uh, he's an amazing guy. Let's keep going with the next question because I got a few of them. So it says, can you share some tips about motivations and keeping it up? I also got this question quite a bit and not only through uh, this image, this challenge, but I generally in Twitter get this question. So uh, personally, my motivation is like being the best that I can be not only professional, but in my personal life as well. So I'm always trying to be as good as possible. And I don't like to sound like an arrogant or something, but if you believe that you can be best, why not working on being best? If you know that you know, you're not very good at something, maybe you're not very good with Java or you're not very good with Python, why not devoting like a few hours per week to get better? I mean, do you have anything else better to do? Or the other thing that you are doing, will it help you more in your job? Because maybe it won't help you. I know, for example, that I'm guilty of watching too much YouTube does YouTube and like uh, TV and like being out with friends all the time, will it help me? I don't think so that it will help me. So stay focused on the things that you like and the things that will help you. But yeah, as far as motivation, motivation will get you only up to an A level. But you shouldn't be, your goal shouldn't be to be in that A level. Your goal should be to, to be the A plus level. Okay, so after motivation, what does it come? It comes determination. Wake up every morning and study. Stay up until late at night and study or work or code. Do something because you have to do it. I know it can be sound a little bit like, streak but this is the truth if you want to do something if you want to be good at something you really have to push yourself and <clears throat> sorry by only watching tutorials or by only uh listening to other people this is just a small dose of motivation the other things are coming internally from you so just do it i know that this is from nike but just do it Okay, let's go to the third question. Could you share some valuable tips which will help you uh, or help me complete these challenges? And this question was asked by a learner. Okay, uh, my answer here would be to, of course, stay focused, but I've already mentioned that. Now, some other great tips are keeping a to-do list. So keep a to-do list with all the things that you want to do and also having always the same time that you will code, study, work or whatever. So maybe it's like 6 p.m., maybe it's like 6 a.m., but always like keep that time for that specific goal also if you are living uh with others maybe you live with your brother your sister your family your mom your dad your roommates whatever let them know that you need that one hour to code because you don't want any other interruption so let them know that hey i'm going to do that for one hour after that one hour we can do whatever you like another thing since i'm talking about uh interruptions don't let anything to interrupt you while you are working. This means block out all kind of notifications. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I've been there, done that. But if you start blocking notifications, everything will be a little bit easier for you. Uh, personally, what I do is to keep my phone on silent or having it in another room, if that's possible for you, but also block anything and everything else. Uh, while I was studying for my master's, most of the time I was studying through books, so not from my laptop. 
And the thing that I did was that I wouldn't even open my laptop because I knew that if I had it open and if I had it next to me, um, I would just go over there and I would uh, keep look something for just one minute, but that one minute was like two hours. So keep it away, all right? Keep it away. If you can, keep it away. And if you can't, again, try to keep it away, okay? Sorry, I'm too passionate about that, but that's how things work let's go to the next question and it said okay this is not a question but i would like to mention it and it says um that's great he's talking about the challenges so it says that's great but currently try to get out of this tutorial hill time to work on real projects so if you don't know this about me i think that uh this person implies that i only do tutorials so uh, I'm not only doing tutorials, I'm working professionally and I started working professionally while I was doing the challenge of 100 days of code. So yeah, uh, but the other thing is that this person is right. Um, you shouldn't only do tutorials or you shouldn't only do challenges. You should try to build something and you should try to really challenge yourself because if it's something easy for you, it means that you're not progressing and we want to see some progress. So get out of your comfort zone and try to build something, try to do something for yourself. If you don't have any ideas, like speak with other developers and ask about their advices on how you can uh, keep going, how you can progress. Or if you're already working, ask your senior developers how, what are they doing and how they are doing it or like um, if you're living with your family um, ask them if they want any help and if you can solve this problem like algorithmically okay so yeah that wasn't technically technically a question but i wanted to address this thing next thing uh what website do you use to follow and gives you this goals i want to try it too that question was by eddie wards 316 so i don't follow any specific list and i don't always have something in my mind i mean i do have some standard goals that I want to complete, but it's not like I know what challenge am I going to be doing in the next few years. No, I don't know that. And no, I don't have any website, but for uh, most of the challenges, there is a website, but this website doesn't tell you what to do. This is something that you have to figure it out. And each one of us maybe have different goals. So it wouldn't be correct for this website to tell you do this and this and this and this. This is a challenge and not a tutorial. So in the description box, um, I will leave again most of the websites for these challenges or the challenges that I have taken. And now that I'm mentioning, don't forget to check out the description box because there will be a lot of helpful links. Let's keep going with, uh, well done, thank you. Uh, can we see your 30 days 30 sites um, as I'm trying to do it as well? Uh, that question was by Tia and I sent Tia the link, but I would also like to mention that most of the challenges are uploaded on my GitHub or on my CodePen or on both or here in YouTube as well. So in the description box, I will leave again all the links so you can check it out by yourself if you are interested to see my journey on 100 days of code, uh, 1301 days of code, or JavaScript 30, or 30 days, 30 sites, or daily UI. I'm going to have everything and I will leave everything so you can check it out by yourself. Thank you for that question. Next one is, uh, the challenges that you have done are all about coding. No, they're not all about coding, but most of them are. Uh, for example, I have here the 100 days of YouTube which is not like a coding challenge. 
Of course, as I was doing it, I was also coding, but it's not specific to coding or it's not specific to any uh, language. And I also have done another challenge I haven't written here in that paper. It was 100 days of fitness. And of course, this has nothing to do with coding. So that's why I didn't write it in that paper. But I was also uh, coding, sorry, I was also in Twitter every day and I would mention my progress there and yeah like maybe this is not something that interests you but i like to work out but my problem is that i don't eat very healthy so with this challenge i was trying not only to working out but also to eat a little bit healthier and this is something i think that i've done like one or two summers ago anyway um i think that this is the last question or no, not the last, the pre-last question. And it says, what is 100 days of YouTube? And this question was asked by Knight Rider. So 100 of YouTube, 100 days of YouTube is uploading on YouTube 100 videos for 100 days and that's it. So I was recording videos, I was editing videos and then I was uploading them on YouTube and I was mentioning on Twitter what I've done. It was uh, a nice time, but also it was very difficult because every day you have to produce something new. So you have to have a lot of ideas and you have to have quite a lot of free time to do all of these things. But yeah, I've also did that. Uh, now, the last question says, um, outstanding and congratulations and thank you very much. Um, any good source for UX and UI for web developers? And also, this is a question that I have get like a lot of times before. Uh, that question was asked by Maze Nasser Allah. Mohammed. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Um, yeah, so. I have quite a few things and I've also have written them down because I don't want to forget them. So I do have quite um, a few nice tutorials. And as for books, I've already mentioned that on Twitter, but I like the book by Don Norman, uh, Don't Make Me Think. And of course, like Don Norman is like the top, the father for UX and UI, mostly UX, but UX is connecting with UI and all of these things are connected with the front end development and the web development in general so in the description box i will leave again all the links that i believe are helpful for a ux or ui designer but some of the courses that i did and they are also free are like from coursera the introduction to ux design and then the user experience uh, I think that this is also from Coursera. It's the ultimate guide to usability and UX. Actually, I've done previously um, a video that I mentioned all my favorite tutorials, you know, link in the description box. So I think that that would be more helpful than saying now what courses I liked. Anyway, yeah, that's all for this video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you find it useful. And if you have any other question, let me remind you how you can ask me. So first of all, leave a comment below with your question. Or secondly, go on my YouTube channel, go on the community tab and here you will find uh, my question and you can leave a comment with your question. Or thirdly, and maybe more preferably, is go on Twitter, go and use the hashtag LFDanceCode to ask me a question there and I will check it out. Before we go, uh, please like, share with your friends this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be amazing. And yeah, have an amazing day. See you really soon. And thank you for all the nice comments and your positive energy. Bye.